I'm Charlotte. I'm Jessica. My name is Lily. My name's Ashton. Hi, I'm Florence. My name's Samuel. And you know who I am. My name's Trisla. Welcome, Welcome to, to the, the Langstons. Langstons. I am feeling pretty bored. Me too. The day has already just started, and there's nothing to do outside or inside. I wonder what we should think of. Maybe I could make a new invention. I'll figure out what to create. Good idea, Trizler. I always like when you make great inventions. So I have this idea for an invention. Have you ever heard of a show called Battle for Dream Island? BFDI for short? No, I've never heard of it. What's the show about? So it's about a show where contestants who are inanimate objects are competing for an island called Dream Island. Well, spoiler alert. That island is gone. Long story short, this is my favorite character who goes by the name, Puffball. Puffball, that's a pretty name. Yep, and fun fact is, she speaks in a singing vocoded voice. She's like a robot. Listen to this. Sounds dirty, but okay. Wow, that sounds amazing. I know right, and it got me thinking. Why not build a singing human robot instead of using a fluffy ball? I think that's a good idea. We should do that. Awesome. First thing I need to do is find out which human should I recreate using metal, wires and speakers. Let me go on the computer and choose. So I was thinking we should recreate one of my characters. What should we choose? So I was thinking of choosing to recreate this character, Jasmine. Or this one, Charlotte. Or this character, you. Or this character, Amelia. Which one would you recommend? I'm not really sure. My dream is to have a robot of myself. That I'm gonna save my dream until next time when I become an inventor myself building robots. So I think you should choose Charlotte. Her voice is pretty clear for a vocoder. You know what? You're right. Let's get rid of these three and create the robot using Charlotte's body. All right, it's all set. Let's go down to my inventing room. The inventing room is all set, ready and cleaned up. Now it's time we invent the singing robot. Almost ready to start. The cloning process is nearly up to 95%. But how are we gonna replace the human skin with metal? Well, I'll be able to surgically remove the skin and replace with really good metal. Titanium. Then I'll be able to place some wires inside so that she can have a vocoded voice. Awesome. Well, let's start now. The cloning process is complete. Let's bring it here. Yes, it worked. Just how it is exactly. So you've already got her cloned with no organs? Cause I need some room to put wires in along with the vocoding software. Yeah, no organs. That's why she's not awake or not even doing anything. She's like a statue. Let's get her up on the bed and we'll begin. <laughs> it's like we're evil scientists. Okay. I'll begin with removing the skin and then replacing it with titanium. Voila. It's all done. Fun fact is. Her stomach actually has a little door to see all the wires inside. But there are no wires. So I need to get some from the storage room. And then after that, I'm gonna use the computer to generate the voice into the speaker that I'm gonna replace its voice box. Then I'll put all the wires inside, and we'll do a test. Great idea. I'll go and get the exact wires we need and you get the software up and running. Alright yo. I found a speaker. Tested it, it works. Now I got to do some voice generating while I wait for Daisy to come back with some wires. Okay. So Charlotte's voice is Ivy. So I got to click on this, then I got to do that. Hey Trizler, I found some wires. Are these the right ones? Perfect. They're the right ones. Thanks. No worries. I gotta go and keep an eye on Charlotte Bot. Charlotte Bot. That's a good name. Alright, I'll see you back at the inventing room. I've now got the voice generated. Now it's time for me to connect the wire to the speaker by soldering it. Now it's time for me to send the voice to the speaker. 
It's all done. Time for me to head back to the inventing room. All right. The wire and the speaker is done. Awesome. So, the speaker will go inside replacing her voice box and the wires will go inside the stomach. Let's put it inside. It's inside. Now I gotta ask you something. Will this robot go flat out of battery? No. I've placed inside a very rare chip-like battery. It doesn't run out and it's an unlimited supply. Oh and I've also installed a power switch on the back of her neck. So we can turn it off and use it another day, or we can leave it on and let her run around singing all day. Oh and I've got this laptop in here just in case I want to do some upgrades to the robot. You so like adding in different languages and etc. Exactly right. Enough of all that. Let's test the Charlotte bot. Radio. Let's get the robot off the bed. Would you like to do the honors by turning it on? Yes, I do. Let's just hope this works. Hello. Hello. Hurrah. It works. What is this room? And who are you guys? My name is Trizzler, and the girl in the yellow is Daisy. We're the ones who created you. It's nice to meet you guys. I can't believe it. We've successfully made a singing robot. I have an idea. Let's show the real Charlotte the singing robot. Oh, the real Charlotte. I can't wait to meet her. Come along, Charlotte bot. Hey guys. What's up? Well, we have made a new invention that I think you'll like. Oh cool. Show me. What is it? Whoa. That looks like me. My name is Charlotte Bot. I am a singing robot. It's nice to meet you. How did you guys do that? She sings while she talks. Well, I came up with an idea on creating a singing robot. We used a cloning software to clone you, then we made her into metal. And then after that, Trisula generated your voice and mixed it with some no-coding magic, put it into a speaker with wires, placed it inside where her voice box was, and voila. This is amazing. I love it. Does that mean she's part of our show now? Of course, real Charlotte. I'll be anywhere. Trizzler created me, so I am now able to be part of the show. You're welcome to come and talk to me anytime you want. Wow. You're an amazing robot. Thanks, Trizzler and Daisy. You're welcome, Charlotte. Let's go and introduce Charlotte Bot to the rest of the family. I'm right behind you. 